So you try to shut down or restart your Windows and during the shutdown or restart sequence an error appears. Explorer.exe, application error, the instruction at blah blah blah, referenced memory at blah blah blah, the memory could not be written. Click OK to terminate the program. You can do nothing, this error will disappear on its own and Windows will continue to shut down or reboot. So Explorer.exe is the entire Windows interface, it's not the file explorer. And don't worry, there is nothing wrong with your memory, so you don't need to buy new RAM modules just to fix this error. It's not a hardware issue, it's just Windows being Windows. Apparently this error is caused by this particular update, which was released in January 2024. I am making this video more than a year later, and the error is still there. Moreover, this update has been integrated into cumulative updates, making it harder to uninstall, and even more, since January 2024 a new build of Windows 11 appeared, which has this update integrated. I personally didn't experience this error until very recently, and what triggered this error is that I had to connect an Xbox controller to the PC for the sake of making a review. It is not connected to the system anymore, however it is still in the devices, and this error only appears if I boot into Windows and launch a game, or any application that appears to be a game, for example NVIDIA app. If I just work in Windows without playing any games during the Windows session, and then shut down or restart my PC, I will not see this error. This error is nothing much, it's just an annoyance, however if you still want to get rid of it, you may just remove the Xbox controller from the system devices. You may also have this error even if you have never connected any type of gamepad to your computer, since some of the peripherals actually can work as a gamepad. One such example is Anna 2 Pro gaming keyboard, which has a built-in gamepad. But if you still want to use the controller, what you need to do is to open Windows Services, search for a service which is named Game Input Service, and it is probably running. So what you need to do is to open properties of the service, first stop it, wait until it stops, and then change the startup type from manual or automatic to disabled. After that apply the settings and click OK. You shouldn't see this error again. Don't worry, if you are using a gamepad or a controller, it should continue to work just fine even without this service. However, if it doesn't, then you have to keep the service in manual mode and just get on with this error until Microsoft finally, maybe, fixes it. So that's how you get rid of this error. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.